Welcome back everyone, let's play World Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 5. And really the end of this battle, and I it's, it dragged on a bit. I, this is, in my opinion, one of the things that's just rule the waves. The battles, if you want to be a little bit crazy about it, oh man, we're, we're starting to move pretty quick. If you want to be a little crazy about it, which I, I am in general, pretty particular about every little movement and... Uh, a little bit too much, I mean, especially when the battle's decided, but it's just like, you know, you got you can really get a lot of gains out of the extra little micromanagement. Sometimes it's not worth it, but in this game, that can make the difference between sinking an extra battleship or not. You will win the fight either way. So as far as victory goes and all that, but it does lead to um, a better, I mean, it's a snowball situation. You sink one extra battleship, that's one less battleship they have. Maybe that's the make or break point to blockading them. Anyway. So there, I mean, there is basically, there are, are significant benefits to attention to detail. I don't know what exactly it is. It's, what is the word I'm looking for? It's, it's really just... Micromanagement, that's it. That's the that's what I'm trying to say. The micromanagement is definitely worthwhile. Okay, this is going is this crazy? Is this going like faster than normal? Is this really the speed it goes? So we are doing a pretty good job on this Benedetto Brin. I don't know which Benedetto Brin is which at this point. Looks like our uh, <laughs> armored cruisers have gone a little bit too far. They are now chasing down the Italian destroyers, and that's not what I want. Let's go down to slow speed just for a little. It looks like we are getting close enough to potentially launch torpedoes here. Um, and this one, I don't know. I think we just hit this with the torpedoes from the light cruiser. Or was that this one? Which looks like she's a goner. Not officially yet. Oh, she hasn't lost any. Oh, wait. Which one? Was it this one that lost? Huh. Neither of these? Maybe they're both intact. Because we can steer our battleships over to these two. They were originally going to hunt down the Italian battleship over here. But maybe that's a better job for our armored cruisers now that there's been a bit of a change in the formation. And certainly to me it's very clear the battleships no longer need to pursue. There's nothing going on over here. So we will retask them over to these battleships. Okay. Let's go forward a minute. See how we're doing here. Alright. Are we making any ground up with this one? <laughs> I don't know. As long as they don't hit me, well, we're in good shape because we can close in, do some torpedo launching, hit this one with three inch guns, which is yeah probably not going to get the job done. We'll need to close in, you know, close the close the range on that. Uh, I feel pretty confident that these armored cruisers, with their sudden maneuver, are going to get out of the harm's way. We'll let the Sigitsvar, who's been all over the place in this battle, we'll let her hone in on them. Uh, looks like the German light cruisers are already pursuing these, probably taking the fire. Looks like so. By the way, there is this yellow, which I believe is, yeah, who is targeting you? So we can see the Benedetto Brin is targeting the Medusa, and that is also. Oh, and she's also targeting the Medusa and the and the Hela, are both being targeted by this one, probably by one by primaries, one by secondaries, maybe. But it looks like both primaries and secondaries are targeting the Medusa over here. It's hard to see that yellow line. I wonder if they have like a colorblind mode. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let's move another minute. I don't think anything needs to have happen that turn. It's hard to keep an eye on what's going on up here. So hopefully just nothing really bad happens in the meantime. And I can get back to that later. Do we want to keep pursuing this way? I think so. I don't think we need to do anything. I'll just keep moving another minute on. Now, Amazon is flooding, has taken some damage, but has the starboard torpedo. So let's just bring her north. It's never too late. Oh, is this the one? It was a penetrating hit. Speed is down to 25 knots. That's still enough. What's your torpedo situation like? Oh my god, both your torpedoes are expended? Wait. You're the one with the torpedo, and what's your max speed? 19. Okay, well, this is a German destroyer, so that does mean we we don't really care, actually. <laughs> we can sacrifice her, so we will. 
get the armored cruisers lined up kind of like an intercept course. And then I guess all the fun is going to be had over here. This is kind of a fun little what the heck's going on here. I don't know. Move even closer to them. Can I just force the situation and see what happens? Uh, Sigurd's Fire, you will continue to close but also protect the armored cruisers. Over here, yeah, she's spinning away from us, which makes sense. And I think we're going to do something like this. Put pressure on her to maneuver somehow. Okay, now this is interesting. Gefion, if you actually do have the speed here, and I don't know if you do, and seeing that, I wonder if, are you the reason? No, you're able to go 18, but you're only, so somebody else, Hela, 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 not sure. You only have a max speed of 15, so only the Medusa of these three has a speed over 18 knots. <laughs> That's not good. I think we just stay the course and continue to push as is. So there it is. She did react a little bit. And, you know, for <laughs> to our benefit, or to the S19's benefit, she did land a 3-inch shell. Not sure that's going to be too important, but... And what, what are we doing with this? Because we why we, wanna, we don't really want to push them away. If I could, I would like to push them back further south. But um, the, event, the main goal here is just to make them maneuver, which means they'll bleed off speed. Okay, did they shift? Yeah, they did. So this is the problem, of course, unless you directly, like, move directly into their wake, directly at their, directly at the ship itself. If you're to the side of them at all, they'll just keep continue to turn away from you. You never really get a good launch angle. But doing all that is still going to keep her busy, which is good enough. It's fine for now. Okay. S19 is probably going to be eaten up eventually, but hopefully by that time, let's have, which, oh yeah, and I forgot, loading, so saving and quitting, which I did at the end of the last battle, and restoring, resets all of the, uh, all of the states that you had, like, if you told somebody not to launch torpedoes, they now, um, they forgot that you told them that when you load back in, unless that's been changed, but I, I don't think so, could have been though. Six torpedoes on these battleships is just insane. Is that the one? Are these the ones with the four aft? We must. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we should really try to do some torpedo launching with these. So, I mean, we have them, right? We already we built the tech. We build them with torpedoes. Why not try to use them? Yeah, I don't know about this, though. I just, I'm not sure I see this uh, really going any better for us. We might just want to leave it as is, which is sad to think. Let me have these battleships turn off and go fight the Italian. Well, I mean, right now, let's have them go down to cruise speed, because I'm not sure which way these Italian battleships are going to move to. But I think that it is, ultimately, their goal now is to harass the two um, surviving Italian battleships over here. And we'll see what we want to do with this one. I think we will eventually pull up the uh, armored cruisers against her and see if the if they can, you know, manage to defeat her, that would be fantastic. She, I don't know, I don't, which one of these has tor already taken a torpedo? Good question. That, I don't know. I wish I knew, but I don't. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, wow, we actually did close significantly. Wait, are you okay? You're okay, and you got back into the fight? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, dear, that was not intended. Okay, if as long as these are okay for one minute, let's try to focus on this battle. What the heck's going on? <laughs> the Vienna Coffee House. No. She didn't take any extra damage, by the way. She just slowly sunk due to flooding. But we'd like to imagine. It seems pretty reasonable to imagine that um, life. They were able to get the lifeboats and all that. They, you know, the order to abandon ship has been given. But I doubt there'll be much loss of life. Okay, have the Sigurds Fire still pursue those Italian destroyers, just to make sure. And yeah, this looks good. Do that. We are pushing these guys back up north. I think I am going to have the our battleships move that way. That away. And what do we have up here? Still not quite to the point where we can... Oh, we are launching. Okay, I should probably tell them not to launch until I give the order. 
Okay, so there, here's the merry-go-round of now can we launch? Because now this would be a good time. You have one torpedo left. It is probably on the wrong side. It is, of course. I could do line abreast, turn together, and just fold them like this. And then the Bukovina might have a chance. We've done several minutes. We don't know what's going on down here anymore, but uh, the Bukovina might have a chance. So yeah, you guys continue to pursue the battleships. Uh, Sigitsvar is going to hopefully land some shells against the destroyers here. Okay, Gefion, I, I, we're still doing some damage. You know, four, four inch shells aren't going to do much, but we can light them on fire or slowly, I guess you can slowly chip away at their, uh, slowly chip away at their uh, superstructure. Oh, look at this. Bukovina has the shot of a lifetime. 300 yards away. And we'll check if Wildcats has one as well. She does. We'll use the port side one because the center line better to save that. We'll keep moving here. Oh, we got two hits. Oh my gosh. Three hits. Oh my gosh. Actually what happened, now I understand. We didn't tell the Wildcast to launch that last one. But she did, or the Bukovina. One of them was already going to launch a torpedo. Yeah, I think it was the Bukovina that launched two. Which means we would have seen last time somebody launching. We didn't see it. Well, I'm confused. Anyways, these destroyers are now going to leave. Three three torpedoes at this day and age. At this point in time, 1904 or whatever. 1903. That is a killing blow. We don't have to think twice about it. We just need to leave. So we're going to get out of the way. She's dead in the water. She might already be officially sinking, but we no longer have to worry about these guys. Um, damage on's pretty low, no flooding. We'll get the whole group to go down to cruise speed. Um, take away their line of breast turn together. Just get them to saunter out. You know, we're not worried. This is, this is a sinking ship. <laughs> and it officially already is sinking. That's not too surprising. She's, she's definitely a goner. Okay, so now the order, the, the task at hand is just to Finish off this battleship, which our armored cruisers will continue to attempt to do, pursue and all that. And then get the two battleship divisions up to harass the other two remaining Italian battleships. But things are going really well so far. Obviously, really well. Okay, let's get you guys to continue moving that way. Gila. So Gila's having a hard time, but that's unfortunately just fine by me since we, d we don't care too much. Uh, I probably should have stopped these guys from firing. What's their ammo situation? 75%, so the battleships look like, yeah, battleships looks like they have plenty of ammunition left, so we can harass as much as we want. And yeah, you stop firing, yeah, so okay, this is good. This is very good, keep moving. I don't know which one of these destroyers, by the I mean, which one of these battleships has already been hit. So right now the <laughs> the light cruisers are kind of acting perfectly as, as like a, a bullet sponge for our battleships to close. Meanwhile, our, our armored cruisers are also slowly approaching. Yeah, I mean, they're still landing shots. It's good. We'll get closer and closer. They might actually, I think they're picking up survivors from the V5. <laughs> it's interesting. Let's keep those guys out of the fight. Um, battleship. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. So you guys are doing good. Can't tell if this was, this one has heavy damage. This one has medium damage. This one has light damage. Okay, so she probably hasn't taken a torpedo hit yet. Uh, looks like all the orders are fine, as I would as I'd want them to be, at least. Okay, are we landing anything? We landed a six-inch shell. Let's, you know, that's something. <laughs> Better than nothing. <clears throat> and they should be moving a lot slower than me as well, so catching up should not be difficult. Okay, this is interesting. One of the Benedetto Brin's heavy guns, which is... Uh, 12 inch? Yeah, 12 inch guns actually did not penetrate, luckily for us. 
the belt of our armored cruisers. And the belt is not that thick, only five and a half. So we got pretty lucky there. I don't think a single hit like that would be a game, would be like game ending. But yeah, okay. Now uh, she's turning this way, so we gotta turn with her. Trying to keep my eyes on three different things. One, this guy pursuing that, these two pursuing that, and this guy, well, I guess technically both of these, or this group pursuing the, oh, yeah. I mean, they are landing these hits, which is unfortunate for me, but good for them. Landed a six inch shell there, Yugoslavia. Okay, they turned south. We might need to turn south as well. Okay, Amazon, you turn this way. Let's close in. Um, do we want to pick up survivors? Who is asking this? Cronenberg. Oh, we'll say yes to that because that's somewhere up here. So that's not a big deal. It's easy to accept. Okay, actually moving into range of the Amazon, which is crazy. The Amazon was supposed to be completely out of this fight, but is being brought back in just by merit of them steering towards us. Armored cruisers slowly gaining. Oh, we got a 12 inch hit. That was the first 12 inch hit in a long time. More important, I think, is just this uh, slow pushing of them around. So if any of them have flooding, they're going to slowly sink themselves in the effort to escape. Turning, by the way, does decrease your accuracy, which is unfortunate. Uh, this one is actually what we might have the chance of a lifetime here. <laughs> the chance of a lifetime, more like the chance of an episode. This has been happening quite a lot. I don't know who that is, but as long as it isn't this one, we're in good shape. So it looks like we are going to get a chance to launch torpedoes here. Let's have these armored cruisers slow down to 18 and turn. They're going to lose speed anyway, so might as well just let the stokers know. It's fine. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have to go back up with them. So, to the north. Let's see if it's far, we'll cut back again, doing a zigzag just to keep those other ones off of her. Here's the other destroyers, fresh from there, killing the other battleship. Oh my gosh, this is looking so good. Okay, we will peel the Gila off. I don't know where she is. Oh, she had reattached somehow or something? Anyway, this is like huge. In fact, at this point, we need to know which way to go. I guess, most importantly, which where do you have torpedoes? Oh, well, there's two center line, you have one left, so it doesn't really matter. Just, um, hopefully we don't overshoot. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my god, it's perfect. From 200 yards away, I mean, this, this practically... <laughs> you practically couldn't... Um, arm them in time. I guess if they're launched from the top, you can maybe they can just tighten the timing on it. It's crazy. Okay. Armor cruisers. Yeah, so that we're going to basically be following following up on what should be a battleship killing blow. And it was. There it is. G7 G I mean G11 has Mission accomplished. We're just leaving a trail of German destroyers here. Which is going to go against the victory cost, but as they don't have a strategic effect on my the navy I can field, I don't care. It's often the case. Just don't care as long as it's not something that's going to stop me from fielding uh, more ships in the next battle. And a lot of it, it comes down to blockade stuff, because being able to blockade them is just going to be I mean, that's it. It means you won the war. You can run out the clock. Eventually, their con their country will collapse. That's it. Yeah, really. Okay, so they are maneuvering back into the Germans again. You'd think that they had learned their lesson. Let's 
going on down here? We have Amazon missed. I, I, they may even have been close enough at some point to, to do something, but I am surprised that she is just galloping away. Cronenberg, yes, you can go to the next one. Just you're going to become a survivor craft. Okay, so our battleships are pursuing that. That's fine. Gefion is being shellacked. It's fine. All in the name of the Fuhrer. I guess the Fuhrer is it's a terrible, terrible anachronism. All in the name of the... Mm, Kaiser. Yes, of course. Wow, Cronenberg, just there it is again. Will the Gefion survive? I don't think so. We could just let some of these get away in the sake of for the sake of ending this battle a little bit quicker. And okay, so battles in this tactical I like the strategic side of this game myself. Which is why I created a ship combat or fleet is it Fleet Battle Simulator, something like that. To me that's it's just sometimes you don't want to fight out the whole thing. Oh, Sigitsvar is really getting beaten up here. That's not good. She's a she's a hero. How dare you? It looks like we are getting converging battleships, which is interesting. And oh no, nope, that one's heading that way now. Okay. So what exactly are we doing here? I'm trying to do a few things at once. Okay. Probably should just say yes to all at this point, but. I figured just chasing them would be enough to you know, doom, doom them. But what I've done here is actually had them go up here. Oh, this is interesting, though. I'm okay with this pull-off move. Ah, I was going to say, if we got close enough. But we want to continue to pursue this one since I know that she took a torpedo. I don't know what's going on with the one on the bottom. Who claims to have heavy damage, but she also is being shadowed by our battleships. So we'll let those guys go. Continue pursuing the battleships with our battleships. Yeah. Oh, they're right near port, so we actually have to be careful about letting them into port. Do not want to let them get in. Armor cruisers are taking some damage here. I might even just pull them off. I mean, I'd, I'd like not to do that, but better to save them than lose one at this point. When we're, you know, we're just, battle's close to over. You don't want to lose a battle, uh, you know, a ship. It was just crazy to me. We harried them all the way back to their port. It's very, very cool. All right, let's keep some destroyers or somebody in the way just to make them think about it at least. Get these guys back up to squad max and just pursue as much as we can. Even if they do get back to port, some of them, that's okay. We definitely took several of them out. Okay, so as far as it goes this way. I don't want to get too close. We might hit a mine. Gosh, Cronenberg, you just... I don't think there's any room left on that ship. <laughs> or I don't know how there's room left on that ship. Okay, what are, what's going on here? We sent that one south. This formation has come back. We need to shift east. Okay, we have them. I mean, let me pay attention to what we're doing here. Nobody hit last turn. This turn, we were hit. We were hit. And we hit with the we hit with the big guns. Oh wow! Okay, this is the wrong one though. I mean, this is not the one. I, this is kind of an interesting situation. We have our armored cruisers to the north pulling up, and actually within torpedo range. Especially if this one continues to pull north. Yeah. So it looks like a lot of the damage we're landing right now is actually the battleships to the north. Okay, we'll just continue to pursue over there. S19, just get out of the way so you don't hamper our efforts to pursue. Um, yeah, this looks good, so we'll try to launch a few torpedoes. They do have torpedoes. Kind of arc, okay, fair enough. Well, we should be in arc now, and there might even be a, oh, no, nope, still low speed. Franz Ferdinand. Also low arc. Oh, we got her! Oh my gosh, it's perfect. And we're starting to launch torpedoes on our own. 
So that means you, what, you don't have any... Oh, you, you definitely have torpedoes left. And I want to pull away just to give an angling for the Gior. Oh, we hit her twice more. These are all on her, right? Just move away. Yep. That's three torpedoes on her. She's a goner. Pull off. Ah, no. We're about to get hit by torpedoes of our own. Do we hit her again? Okay, well... <laughs> You know what I like to say, if three torpedoes is enough, then four surely is. So it gets far, just make a run for home. Go down to cruise speed to control any potential flooding. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all over now. We don't even need to pursue this last... I want her to survive just to, you know, we have somebody who survives as a witness to the carnage. To get the uh, Italian people to surrender, hopefully that much quicker. Although, these guys might actually win a, a fair gun duel. Not fair, very unfair gun duel. Oh, Hummel limiting flooding makes me concerned. Okay, the flooding was not very much, and now it's down to zero. That's fine. Fine by me. Is she coming back in? I, we don't have any on this side. So, but yeah, it looks like this is going to be another chance... Do we have any torpedoes left? No. Only one who does. Right there. Uh, not quite close enough. Yeah. Oh, Gior was hit by a torpedo. Now, this is definitely not good. So, supposedly she dodged three torpedoes. Um, when the Benedetto Bren is only capable of launching one torpedo. Because she has one torpedo per side. I'm not sure how to interpret that. First things first, we need to get her detached and to slow down. So yeah, you don't actually want to send her to the closest base because the AI will kill her. We'll just manually do it though. Unfortunately, Gyor was the one with the torpedoes too. It's quite unfortunate. Go down to four knots, that should help. Yeah, so every now and then you get these like interesting reports like that don't make sense where it seems like the AI may have launched three torpedoes at me. The thing is, we'll never know. We need If there was a mode to like pull back the fog of war and see what was actually happening, is it an intentional misreport? I don't know. Maybe it could be. But how can you report missing being missed by two torpedoes that didn't exist? It's possible. It's a thing, but it's a mystery to me. Okay, 110 flooding. Unlikely, by the way, that we save her at this point in time. Like, uh, just damage control is garbage. So it's it's very likely that we will lose our first capital ship here. Not if I have anything to say about it, but the good news is it bought time for, I guess, our uh, <laughs> battleships to come back into the fight and then really do nothing. So you can see torpedoes are everything in the game right now. 100% of the damage is done by torpedoes. <laughs> now, I did see Gior limit flooding. She has, a, she has a chance, which is insane. I didn't give her a fighting chance, but she actually has one. Okay, pursuing here, that's good. Just wanted to come over the, uh, just round over to the west to prevent them from making another run at the Gior. Pull her off the lines. Really just send her right to the nearest port. Not that she's going to get there before the battle's over. Man, it's already been 30 minutes in this fight. This is uh, this is how these things can go, though. What? What? We had somebody actually make it up there? <laughs> Let's get everyone to go that, that way, though. Oh, these are the destroyers. We could have used them. I nah, don't really need them now, but... Uh, yeah. You guys are hopefully attacking the correct one. I mean, one of these two, I'm pretty sure, has been hit by torpedoes. Wow, we're doing a lot of... Oh, yeah. Of course we are. We're doing a lot of damage to the one of them that's sinking. Oh, lord. Gior reattached. This is one of those things that drives me bonkers. Okay. 
What's her flooding at? Zero. Now, we really got to be careful about her. Because every now and then, their high speed will rupture a bulkhead or something. So we're going to send her right home. Six knots should be okay. I don't think she'll rupture a bulk or bulkhead at that speed. And that means we have to keep the other armored cruisers away from her. And one, the thing I wanted to do was, yeah, just don't fire for some time since you're targeting a dead ship. And here comes an interesting point in time where the battleships are actually closing in on that one. Gotta be a little bit careful here because their destroyers are still in play. Ah, okay. We have, For our troubles, we have hit them once with a 12-inch gun. Hooray. Isn't it comical how, like, very bad any kind of gunfire is? <laughs> I can't believe the Gyor is actually has actually stopped her flooding. I'm just so happy about that. It makes me giddy. Here comes the destroyers back in. Okay, Amazon. Look, I don't. You're German, so I don't really need to save you. But at this point, we're just gonna start getting these guys over to the make their way home, so I don't have to deal with them. So I don't have to think about it anymore. Okay, let them go. Just let this one... Oh, Hila, what are you doing? Um, we did accidentally send four capital ships after this battleship, which may or may not have been hit by a torpedo already. This is one of them that is in play, and we do want to make sure that we at least go protect the Gyor. Alright, let's run at speed here. You can tell this is why I like to sometimes... Simulate the combat. Can get a little dry. Gefion, okay, well, we don't care about her. Yeah, Cronenberg's still picking up survivors. <laughs> uh, they're probably like towing at this point. Um, just a ton of, like, uh, what do they call it? The lifeboats. We're taking some fire here. And I am risking things with these armored cruisers, considering, you know, we just had a bad event. So let's pull back. Let's call this good enough and go home with our lives. Let that one go. Just let them go. And we, I guess we could actually attack this other battleship. Now let's go at speed. Oh my gosh, Cronenberg, you gotta be kidding me. I don't... <laughs> Fair enough. Go for it. Right now, multiple ships firing at the same ship is... Oh my god! What the heck is going on here? Can we fire at her? <laughs> that's so many torpedoes, I forgot that we did that. It's just... That's... You know, not... I don't think that's the right way of playing, by the way. I just... This is crazy. Why, we don't have a single solution, huh? All this and you don't have a single solution. Well, we are landing some hits, which is nice. Oh yeah, well, I wanted to make the turn. I wanted to do it. Oh yes, they're gonna give me a chance. Crossing the T. Should be a good torpedo. Oh wow, at high speed too. Cronenberg, what is going on? <laughs> Every single one of the survivors of this battle is being loaded onto the Cronenberg. <laughs> okay, let's launch more torpedoes if you have them available. Okay, those are gone, but... Oh, out of arc. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we're just tossing her off from one to the next. So, oh, and she's on fire! That's all we need. Once they are on fire, by the way, did you guys go to line abreast and turn together? Did I, like, how did that happen? I don't remember giving that order. Anyways, once they're on fire, this is the, the main way besides torpedoes that you can sink ships. So that's like a really, really, really good sign. You're actually doing okay. Ah, it's a miracle. Oh, looks like she's going to join us. Fair enough. 
do have two torpedoes, so we'll launch one. Maybe launch the other. Might not be... This one might not... Uh, that's a, a low percentage shot, I would say. Yeah. But hey, we can still you know do some damage, keep her from trying to extinguish her flames. That is really good stuff. Wow, good job. I gotta say, the second battleship division has done way better than the first. Sorry, Ms. From my memory, all the hits I'm seeing, a lot of them have been on the Yukoslava and Savannah. So good on them. Oh, her being on fire does incentivize me to be a little bit more bold with my tactics here. Uh, that's not good. Uh, it's hard to control everything at once, too. With the Cronenberg there faithfully picking up all the survivors. Really still not sure how she's holding them all, but good job anyway. Oh, that was it. Might still have the angle. Oh, we do. Okay. Well, they're going to keep turning, so main thing here is... Get everyone going west now. Wait, what? Look at it, as long as she's on fire, that's the main thing. It's the damage will eventually be done, but I have to say that. I don't know where that torpedo went. Or where it was even aimed at. Oh, well this is gonna be another opportunity. Man, out of arc. Okay, there we go. We finally have somebody who can launch. Maybe more than one? Nope. I'm going to pull away at the same time just to make sure that we aren't going to be the recipient of torpedoes here. There we go. Could catch a lucky one, and that will that'll help speed up the battle's end, basically. That's all I really care about. Getting this thing over. Oh, man, it's going to be a whole other episode just doing this. All right, well, let's maybe just even let this one live for the sake of ending the battle. So we'll just... Oh, God. Wow. Well, that was a lot of damage, though. That probably was game-ending damage. Well, ship-ending damage. Unbelievable. Cronenberg still picking up people. I think the S-19... Didn't we already see that? Ah, you know what? Armored cruisers, don't even worry about it. Let her go. I think she's not even going to make it back to port. She might, though. And, you know, we just let it happen. Don't risk getting the mines. I know. And this is kind of the fun thing, or at least the recurring thing in the comment section, is that people will second-guess my decision. So they did make it home with that one. Medium damage. Uh, yeah, you can make risks. You can take. I mean, you can take risks. And, well, anyways, who cares? For a second, let's just take... A look at the situation here. We deployed with five battleships, they deployed with six. We deployed with three armored cruisers though, and seven light cruisers, and 13 destroyers. So they deployed with six battleships and four destroyers. And we deployed with what is, I would consider a very reasonable fleet. I would consider this an unreasonable fleet when you have more battleships than every other vessel combined. Not good. Uh, this victory is complete. It's huge. Now, of the destroyers and cruisers that we lost, we mainly just lost the German one light cruiser, and I think we lost several of our own Austro-Hungarian destroyers, but mostly German ones. Probably at least three of these are German, so at, at most four Austro-Hungarian ships. Go to ship details and we can see all the rest. Now, which is the one that... So, Hela sunk... Cure heavy damage, but she made it. Dante Alighieri. Okay, so this is the one that was on fire, maybe? Yeah, this one didn't take any torpedo hits. This must have been on fire. But she entered port, I think. Wait. No, maybe... Oh, no. Napoli... Is this the one that was on fire? This one took one torpedo hit? Fire. Sinking through progressive flooding. 
This is actually the one that uh, was headed to a port at the very end there. What? Did it die? It like sink and dock? That doesn't make sense. It must have sunk like at the very last moment, which is crazy. <laughs> I don't get it. But wait, what? Did I, okay, I don't remember where. They only have one battleship floating about though. I'm going back, sorry. Let me just take a look at this one more time. Did the battleship here, this one made it to port. Did this one get on fire? And it's flooding. I don't see anything about, oh, no, fire control. I don't know. I don't know which one. It doesn't matter either. Yeah, the thing is, I'm recording this way too late. <laughs> Just, oh, brother. Well, this is still a fun little battle. I mean, in my opinion, you got to simulate some of these. <laughs> oh, no, the view reset again. Dang it, anyhow. The enemy has sounded us out about negotiated peace with us, gaining disputed border areas and some of their colonies. The Kaiser wants to know your opinion. We can secure even better terms. Now, even if you want the war to end, choosing this is probably the best option because it'll give you the most... If you want the war... I mean, if the war ends with, like, one of the lower options, chances are you won't even get war reparations. No. Wait. A peace is concluded with our side gaining large territories and considerable war, war reparations. Okay, we got six points... So we can start taking colonies if we want. Now, the troubling thing about this is if you don't take the colonies, you actually just increase your yearly budget directly um, by twice the amount that the colonies will provide for you. So colonies will give you some money, some yearly, but they'll add some military Navy budget. In fact, to me, it's less than it should. But... They will also not give you as much as just asking for war reparations, which is just means if I don't choose to take all the points. And I've never, I, to this day, I don't know whether or not taking some part of the points allows the remaining part of the points to be added to the yearly budget, which is what I think would happen, but I'm just not sure. There's this concern I have that taking any number of points like completely cancels your ability to take the war reparations to add to your yearly budget. And it's not really war reparations because it's like infinite war reparations, like hundred years time or something since they never go away. It just it just base increases your economy. Or maybe you can abstract it as like they gave you money and the government put that money into invested it so the country is better off. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, if we wanted to take something, Sardinia plus Rhodes is a possibility. We do not want Eritrea. This is the only one we don't want. Well, I guess we don't want Morocco either. If we really wanted to hose ourselves, we could do Morocco and Eritrea, <laughs> which would be like uh, inquiring two additional foreign stations. So doing Rhodes and Sardinia would give us access to Italy's Mediterranean holdings besides Libya. And I don't, I think we have oil. Like, I'm not sure if, if oil's random, like Libya... To, you know, has oil, but I'm not sure if it's, um, I think Austria, -Hung um, I think Austria Hungary gets oil anyway. So yeah, I'm going to take zero things as much as I want to paint the map, our color for now, I'm just going to choose zero things. Oh, wait, but I, if I don't take anything, I can't evade. No. Yeah. We're going to choose zero things. If you leave points unused, you will get a small increase to your economy instead. Continue. Yes. And the peace agreement from the following states are ceded to Germany. Libya and Rhodes were ceded to, it, to Germany. Oh dear, I did not see that one coming. Oh dear. So you're saying I should have taken... <laughs> Wait, Sardinia is not takeable? Huh. Huh. 
Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Rhodes, Libya. What was the other one? It was Sardinia, right? Yeah, okay, it was Sardinia. So we could take in Sardinia and Rhodes. And that would have allowed us better invasions. Probably should have done that because I don't want to fight Germany to take their own colonies. But that was really good. So we got a peace deal which went our way. Our monthly balance is all messed up. The game window is all messed up. So we have a few things to adjust. But let's put this uh, call this video to a close here. For now, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And uh, yeah, well, our first victory. Viva Austria-Hungary.